Hey guys, this is Clinton Jeff and today we're checking out one of my favorite sneaker cops of the year. One that didn't get much hype at all surprisingly. Today we're checking out the Simpsons Adidas Flaming Moe ZX1000. Here we go. Alright guys, as you probably already know by now, Adidas collaborated with The Simpsons earlier this year to pump out some pretty sweet sneakers that I absolutely love. But then I'm also a huge fan of The Simpsons, so I might be biased there. The collab started out with the Adidas Krusty Burger ZX10,000, which was part of the brand's A to ZX campaign. And that shoe actually got enough hype that it sold out in seconds. But after that, the sneakers that dropped have surprisingly had no hype at all. And they've even been sitting on adidas.com here. There was the squishy Adidas Superstars inspired by the Quickie Mart. Then there was the Duff Beer Adidas Forums which look really awesome. But today we're checking out the shoe inspired by Moe's Tavern from the show. Or rather a specific drink from Moe's Tavern. It's the Flaming Moe's ZX1000 which is inspired by the cocktail with a hint of coughing syrup from the show that Moe so famously stole from Homer. But y'all, even if you're not a big fan of The Simpsons, this is a pretty cool looking shoe. I really honestly don't understand why these got no hype. The Flaming Moe ZX1000 dropped May 12th at a price of $120 in the US. But before we talk about the shoe, we gotta talk about that awesome box. There's a special box this time around that is designed to look like the purple TV set from The Simpsons with the TV antenna on one side, the TV screen and buttons on the larger surface of the box, and the Adidas and Simpsons branding along with the size tag on the side of the draw style box. Honestly, it just looks great and whoever thought of it at Adidas should definitely get a raise because it's just genius. I mean, you guys know I keep complaining about Adidas being lazy with their collab boxes, but here they actually did a pretty good job. Opening up the box, you have the Simpsons and Adidas branding on the paper with an extra black pair of laces included, just in case the white laces aren't your thing. I do think the white laces look better on the shoe though, but the black laces are more subtle in case you think there's too much going on with the shoe. Alright, moving on, coming to the shoe itself. And starting from the toe box, you'll see this perforated mesh in this dark purple color. The mesh has a lining on the inside, so it doesn't help too much with breathability. But you'll see this purple mesh layer extend around the shoe, forming the internal structure. Surrounding the entire toe box is this smooth purple suede panel that's kind of an overlay that goes all around the toe box and really makes the shoe look more premium than it is. This also adds structure and stability to the shoe so that your toes don't slide off the midsole or poke through the upper. Moving upwards, you'll see more of those purple suede panels forming the bottom and upper eyelets of the shoe. Weaving through those eyelets in a pretty regular lacing system are these flat white laces. One very cool thing here is this enamel lace dubre that is designed to look just like the Flaming Moe itself. If you're a fan of The Simpsons, you're gonna love this. If you're not, well, at least you have a really cool lace dubre. Underneath the laces, there's a padded tongue with that purple mesh layer on top. And at the top of the tongue is this dark navy blue tongue tag with the Flaming Moe's logo stitched on in a bright red. On the inside of the tongue, you'll see the Simpsons branding here. Coming to the inside of the shoe, you'll see this black sock liner with a pretty good amount of padding around the heel area and the tongue, making these shoes really comfortable on feet. At the bottom, there's a dark navy blue insole with the Adidas branding and the Simpsons branding printed on in white. These are definitely going to get rubbed off as you keep wearing the shoe though. Moving on, coming to the mid panel of the shoe, this is where all the drama is. You'll see the purple mesh material once again with these bright red leather three stripes that go across the midfoot from the purple suede panel up top. These flame details are actually really well made with this bright red leather panel here with this orange fabric layer above it and this yellow leather layer above that making it almost look like these flames were real. These are nicely finished with this black piping outline stitched around to make sure these last as long as possible. This flame detail is on both the lateral and medial sides of the shoe which look pretty much identical. Moving towards the back of the shoe, you'll see the purple suede here once again, forming the heel cage around the back. Though I suspect that there's a rigid plastic internal heel cage here as well, which greatly helps with the heel lock on this shoe. At the top, you'll see this red mesh material with this yellow leather stripe going across with the black piping all around and Adidas stitched on in black. Moving on, that entire upper sits on this white foam midsole. You'll notice this bright red rubber plug underneath the lateral side of the forefoot and on the medial side of the heel at the back. These are there to give you added stability and support when you're walking around in these shoes, at least in theory. 
And then moving to the bottom of the shoe, you'll see this black rubber split outsole, which has a lot of intricate details around. There's the Adidas Trifall branding and this really retro traction pattern, going from the heel to the toe. In the middle, you'll see the Adidas torsion system here in a purple colored TPU bar inside the split outsole. The torsion system works in the same way as it does on the Ultra Boost and gives you a bit more support in the midfoot. And then lastly, at the heel, there's this bright yellow circular rubber feature. And uh, yeah, that's about it in terms of design. You can see that there's a lot going on with this shoe, but it still comes across as minimalistic even with everything around. Plus, I love the black piping around everything on the shoe, which kind of gives these a 2D cartoon aesthetic. The shoe also feels really premium and well put together. So I have to admit, I was quite impressed with these. Coming to fit and sizing, the Adidas ZX1000 does fit true to size. But if you have wider feet like I do, you might want to go up a half size. For example, I'm a size UK 11, but I have really wide feet. So I went true to size here and they fit okay, but they're a bit narrow around the toe box. So I definitely should have gone up to a size UK 11.5 at least. Coming to comfort, the ZX1000 isn't really one of the most comfortable shoes out there at all. Especially when you compare it to the likes of the Ultra Boost or other sneakers with more premium foam. But it is decently comfortable though and good enough for casual everyday wear. Although there's really not too much going on from a cushioning point of view here. The foam midsole is not really soft, but it is stable and durable. Alright guys, we're all out of the way. Let's take a look at the Simpsons Adidas Flaming Mo ZX1000 on feet. Guys, that was a look at the Simpsons Adidas Flaming Mo ZX1000. All in all, I really do think that this was a really well done collab. I like how Adidas chose to focus on specific things from the show instead of just the characters, like how they made the squishy superstars and the Duff beer forums. The materials used here are pretty good. Granted, it's just a slim layer of suede, but the hits of suede and leather really do make these look way more expensive than they actually are. And the shoe is really well put together as well. Plus, like I said earlier, I love how they gave the shoe that 2D cartoon aesthetic. I just don't get why there was no hype over the shoe and why they're still sitting. But hey, if you're a fan of the Simpsons, here's a shoe that's definitely worth picking up. All right, guys, so that's what I think about the Simpsons Adidas Flaming Mo ZX1000. I'd love to know what you guys think about this shoe and whether you're thinking about picking up a pair. And if not, tell me why. Let me know right in the comment section below. Of course, if you want to see more photos of the shoe, you can head on over to my Instagram account to check them out. And maybe give me a follow at Clinton Jeff. And hey, if this video was helpful and you want to support the channel, don't forget to hit the like button right below. And maybe subscribe in case you haven't yet, because that would be definitely appreciated. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.